Hey, this is Kevin Douglas playing some more uh, Legacy Burn. So uh, we didn't win the Wadai roll, and I think we have to mulligan this hand. Um, only one land. Uh, we could play Monastery Swiss Spear, but um, everything else is 2 CMC. I think it's just going to be too slow. So we'll go ahead and see what uh, we mulligan. Um, this doesn't look too bad. Um, Goblin Guide, Fire, uh, Monastery Swiss Spear, and a Chain Lightning. Um, mana for a Fire Blast. So we'll go ahead and keep. Um, I think we can put that on bottom. See what our opponent leads into. Uh, looks like a Wooded Foothills. So there's a couple different decks that could be. Um, not totally sure what we're playing yet. Um, so I thought we scry that mountain to the bottom. I know it's kind of like a moto joke sometimes that scries always uh, end up back on top. So holding that fetch lined up, uh, if they don't like um, what they see here, they're going to be able to fetch it away. It's almost like a mini like brainstorm fetch. So Green Sun's in it, uh, Zenith. Um, could be like Nick Fit or Elves, maybe? We're going to go ahead and uh, fetch for a Taiga. Uh, looks like they did not want that green sun zenith. Yeah, so it looks like uh, they didn't cast Nick on our turn, so they were definitely just fetching that card away. Uh, looks like we've got um, some banned colors so far. And a voice of resurgence. So I think we go um, Swiss Spear here and Chain Lightning the Voice. Um, actually, I think I don't. I don't think there's any reason to have to clear the Voice necessarily. Um, they're gonna get a token. Actually, I think we do have to trade for the um, trade for that token. Or uh, chain lightning the voice just because we don't, and we're not gonna be able to swing with our goblin guide. I think it's okay. I think it's okay to chain lightning this. Well, we're gonna we're gonna lose three damage. Either way, we're not going to get in with the Goblin Guide. I think we chain Lightning and just attack him with the Swift Spear. I'm trying to think of the combat math here. I think I actually think we clear the voice because um, if we chain Lightning, deal three, we can only attack with the Monastery Swift Spear um, without you know trading for the, the voice of the Goblin Guide. So we're not going to get any combat damage in. At least this way we can attack him with both creatures. And we'll still get two damage in. And still kind of slow them down. So they're going to go ahead and get that token. It also lets us play at instant speed. Not that we necessarily care about their creatures. Um, you know, if we're at a point where we can block with ours or... Um, so they do have Punishing Fire. So it's probably good that we're trying to get in with these creatures right now. And they'll go ahead and uh, block the Swift Spear. Go down to 15. So I found their third land. Uh, five cards in hand. <clears throat> Looks like they're going to maybe start playing Punishing Fire. Um, 
Get rid of the Swift Spear. I think I'm going to Fire Blast here. We have the mana to cast Rift Bolt. Um, it'll save our Swift Spear. They've already played a land for the turn. So I don't think they can uh, Punishing Fire again. I mean, maybe they can Bolt it. And that'll kind of stink. Here comes maybe a Mana Dork. So they're going to Green Suns, uh, probably for a Dryad Arbor, is my guess. So they'll get a blocker down. They don't have the Punishing Fire engine in yet. Because I don't see the uh, um, Grove of the Burn Willows. And uh, kind of like I've, I've mentioned in a couple of other videos, I don't play that much Legacy, so I could just be totally off on what... Uh, on the plays I'm calling as well. Um, but as far as I know, a deck that's running Punishing Fire is probably running Grove of the Burn Wells. So we'll go ahead here and see um, see what we reveal. Looks like it's a Pride Mage. They're going to go ahead and block the Goblin Guide. And we're going to suspend our Rift Bolt and probably pass. So we've got him down to 10. Uh, Rift Bolt will be down to 7. Um, we need to draw on their Mountain to be able to cast this Fire Blast. Um, I don't think we're going to be winning over the next turn. Um, so there's a Scooze. They don't have any green mana to activate it. Um, looks like they're going to spend one white. So the swords are Goblin Guide. And get Punishing Fire back. So this is a bit of a bummer. Um, I think drawing some 1 CMC removal for the Scavenging News is what we want to do right now. Ah, the Rift Bolt. I actually forgot about that. So we'll go ahead and clear the Scavenging News. Um, it's going to be a blocker and it's going to gain them life um, because there's already a couple creatures in the graveyard. Um, so here's the Lightning Bolt. We'll go ahead and get our Prowess Trigger. Hold them down to 7. Get them down to 6. Or 4. Um, and so now we are actually just a land draw away from Fire Blast. And unless they have a way of gaining life, we know that it's not going to get countered. I suppose they could play a creature and swords themselves. So Punishing Fire is kind of annoying. Um, they're not holding it up. It looks like they're going to play that Pride Mage. Um, so that does uh, make it so we don't really want to draw like a hasty creature. Um, Goblin Guide wouldn't be like awful, but I think we uh, we just drew our mount, so we're just going to Fire Blast here. I don't think they have a way of gaining life. I guess I probably could have tapped those lands for mana first. So we just got there. And I think we want Sulfuric Vortex. And Searing Blood seems really good, along with Searing Blaze. Um, we could bring in Surgical Extraction for, like, uh, Punishing Fire, maybe? I don't know if that's really where we want to be. Um, they have a lot of removal. Uh, I don't know that we want Eidolon. Especially if we're bringing in a, um, a lot of other 2CMC spells. Price of Progress seems very good. Um, Flame Rift is pretty good value. Uh, 
I think, I mean, maybe, I'm debating here whether I cut, cut some flame rifts or lava spikes. I think I'm going to do flame rift. Um, it's just a little more expensive. And on the draw, maybe the life, um, life total matters. So uh, this is a very good hand. Um, Double Swift Spear, Lightning Bolt, uh, Syrian Blood uh, seems very good against them. And so we'll keep. Uh, opponent Mulligans to six. Decides to keep. And they scratch card to the bottom. Go ahead and F6 here. So there's a wind swept teeth. And if they green sun zenith here for a dried arbor, um, I might just bolt it. Doesn't look like they did. Um, actually, goblin guide is, I think, better than leading off with Swiss spear. So they've got the mana up for a Swords of the Plowshares. They're going to go ahead and reveal a Wood of Foothills. So we're going to undo that mulligan a little bit. It's good to see fetch lands though. That's just um, extra damage that we don't have to do. And our, our hand is shaping up really nicely here. Caracas is interesting. Um, it's not going to do anything against us. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything in their deck that they would use it for like recurring their own creatures. Um, I think this is there's no blockers. Uh, I want to run Swift, or Swift Spear, Swift Spear out. Um, next turn I'm going to be able to either Chain Lightning, Lightning Bolt, um, turn these monster Swift Spears into 3-4s. Um, I'll have the option of playing Searing Blaze and a Lightning Bolt. Um, that would actually be ideal use of our mana. Or um, Searing Blood and uh, Chain Lightning, I mean. So last game, it seemed like the opponent's deck was full of two drops. Um, they were all in the colors that could be cast um, with the land they have right now. So I'm kind of wondering what's in their hand. Yes, their swords. And uh, we're going to draw them a Dryad Arbor. So I think what would be ideal for us is if they play Dryad Arbor this next turn. Um, not only does it take up a land drop, but it's a good target for Searing Blood. So just maybe we'll slow them down a little bit. So there's a Dried Arbor. Um, Gadok Teague. Our hand is set up well right now um, against Gadok. But I think in the event that we draw a Fire Blaster, we're going to want to clear that from the board. And so I think we Searing... Blood, Gadok, Chain Lightning, the Dryad Arbor. Well, we don't, I mean, it, at this point, we're going to be attacking with three fours. And so um, if they block, they really undo three damage anyway. So trading the Chain Lightning, I think, for, for a creature is not like the worst thing in the world. Um, if we're trying to be fast, if we're trying to play like a long grindy game, then yeah, maybe we want them to have to waste their creatures blocking. Um, but it's also possible that they just don't want to um, block and they're trying to like power out a uh, four drop next turn. In which case we'd, we'd have to burn it anyway. So we're going to get them down to six here.
So we, and we still have Lightning Bolt in hand, so we have a lot of live draws in the game next turn if they're not able to win any life or uh, gain any life. Go ahead, F6. So they're down to six. Um, it'd be awesome if we had a fire blast there. Um, that actually would have been lethal. With the four from the fire blast and then two additional prowess triggers. So um, we know they have a wooded foothills. Unless I totally missed something. Um, there's Death Right. Um, plateau. So they do have creatures in the graveyard. If uh, they get to untap with that Death Right, then um, potentially they can start gaining life. So depending on what we draw, we might want to Lightning Bolt that Death Right Shaman. Um, and actually, because we have this Rift Bolt, we can actually just cast Rift Bolt. Um, lightning bolt them. And then, um, that should be enough to do lethal in the event that they had any tricks or whatever, then we could lightning bolt them down to three as well. So, um, pretty good match there. Um, won the first game on a mulligan on the draw. Um, and then the second game, um, just had a really good start with goblin guide and two swift spears and, um, they had a bit of a slow start with no turn one or two turn play, basically holding mana up for a sword to plowshares. Um, and then uh, we were able to take advantage of cards like Searing Blood to not only clear their board, but do a little damage and uh, get them with all those creatures.